Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play Fire Emblem 7. I believe there's only three chapters left. And anyway, in the last episode, Ninian was killed by Elliewood. Yeah, I'd say if, you, if you're like, Whoa, wait a minute, how the hell did that happen? Go back to the last part and you'll find out. Anyway, chapter 29, Sands of Time. Ninian is dead. Now, only Nurgle's echoing laughter remains. On Hector's advice, the group head towards Ostia. They are weary to the home, and they need time to regroup. Ostia is the most heavily guarded fortress city in all of Lycia. No enemy should have been should have been able to breach its walls. But obviously, Chapter Twenty Nine is upon us. Sands of time. Here we go, Lord Hector. We are pleased to see you are home alive and well. Where is my brother? Ah, he departed yesterday for a conference in Etria. He's scheduled to return half a month's time. Etria? That's a pity. Go and prepare rooms for my companions. They need rest. Yes, my lord. I guess with uh, Uther gone, Hector sort of is the main guy in Ostia now, isn't he? Greybeard, you know something, don't you? Tell me. What are we supposed to do now? A moment, lad. Yes, I suppose you have a right to know. Story time with Athos coming up. I met Nurgle some 500 years ago, wandering the Nabata wasteland. Ah, so that's what Nurgle looked like. Alright. Like me, his only drive was to the, the search for truth in this world. We were equals in power and knowledge, and we became fast friends. We believed we could solve the mysteries of the world. We truly believed. So what happened? A disagreement made at the height of our quest. One day, as I charted the mysteries of Nabata, I came across the most amazing village. It was unbelievable, but in that place, humans and dragons lived together in cooperation. Dragons and humans? Are you telling me they could live together in peace? At first, I doubted what my own eyes showed me. But yes, the village truly did exist. That's amazing! The dragons that I beheld there, they were, were, they were both similar and, diff to diff to and different from the dragons I had fought hundreds of years before. Ah, Eliwood, are you? Please go on. As you wish. They had refused to fight humans in, a, in the war, and instead they retreated to this wasteland. They desired nothing but to remain hidden from the outside. Nurgle and I crafted a barrier and created an oasis for them. Upon their invitation, we lived there with them, our life there. It was calm and satisfying. At some point, the village became known as Arcadia. A place for perfect peace, for travelers got astray. Arcadia? The dragon's libraries were a dream to come true for us. We studied their language and history with unbridled passion. A century then, too. Time passed in, in an eye's blink. And yet, slowly, our thoughts turned down different paths. In what way? I wanted to share the dragon wisdom with others. My hope was that their earthly paradise to spread outward. And Nurgle? Ah, Nurgle. He took the dragon's knowledge. He learned the art of stealing the essence from living creatures and turning it into power. It was terrible. When we discovered that what, what he was doing, the elders and I tried to persuade him to stop, but the power bewitched him, and he was deaf to our, to our pleas. He started with small creatures and grew ever more confident, and then he began draining the quintessence from humans. The villagers and I joined forces and defeated him, or so we thought, but... After he was banished from Arcadia, Nurgle fled to Burn. He increased his power slowly to avoid our eye, to avoid our eye. Using quintessence, he made his puppets, the morphs. They're bewitching in form. 
With intellects beyond human, I'm sure you've laid eyes on them yourselves. Jet black hair, pale complexion, and blood red lips. The most striking feature is their glittering gold eyes. That's Ethan Allen and Stella to it. Wait a minute. Attack! We're under attack! What? Lord Hector! It's bad! An unknown group has breached the castle walls! How did they get to the castle without anyone noticing them? They just appeared from out of nowhere! The attack was so sudden, the castle guards were annihilated! Castle Ostia is famed far and wide as being impregnable! If it's been breached so easily, can we save it? It's Nurgle! His magic created an entrance for these thugs within the castle! Blast that arrogant- No matter what, the throne must be protected! I will not let the castle fall while my brother's away! Hold on Hector, I'm going with you! Uh, Elliewood looked a bit dejected there. I would say that. Mastrath, we need you! We need a plan! If you could hold them back for a while, reinforcements will come! Don't worry Hector, leave it to me! Okay, what do we got here then? We got a lot of stuff- Ooh, we got some items to take! And more items to take! There's our opponent. Denning. Ah, sniper! It's always nice to have a sniper as a boss, isn't it? Okay, so, as you can see, our units are put into two different areas. We need Matthew for this to get these areas. So we need four spaces free. In, uh... We need four spaces free, at least. Hang on. Let's check the map again and see if there's any items we can take. Poison, poison, flux, Nosferatu, flux, 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 you looter, blah, 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 killing edge. Poison, poison, silence, sleep. Steel, steel, longbow. Ah, we can get a sword slayer. I believe, though, that's all we can get is a sword slayer. Okay? Alright, so, hang on, where's Pent? Pent. Pent, take some stuff. Take some, take, take, take them, pretty much. And the fell contract. That should give us enough room. Okay, so... Oh yeah, Hex... Uh, okay, Lin. You're gonna stay back, because you are by far and away our weakest unit, and we have to choose you, by law. Damn it. Okay. Nino, no. Yes, sir. Yes, Urk. Actually, wait a minute. Legault's already there. Maybe I should choose Legault for this. Hold on. Yo, know I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it right here, right now. Fell contract to Legault. Legault, I'm using the fell contract now. Why not? Legault, you are now an assassin. There you go. Level one assassin. But you can tell that I'm not gonna use him. <laughs> Sorry, Legault, you got trolled. No, I'm going to be using Matthew, but yes. Legault is now an assassin here, as you can see. All good. His level's so low, though, so I won't be using him. No, okay, so we've got Sir Jafar Urk. Urk's joining us for this round, that's good. Right. Now, nah, I, I think I'm ready here. So let's check the map and see where we need to go. Check our formation. Matthew, you need to go down here. What's down here? We've got Boas mostly. So Florina and Lowen. You make your way down. There. Hector can't move. None of these can move. Okay, so. What I want is for someone to go straight for him. You you guys are actually perfect for the job. Okay. Right, let's go! Let's become level two. Deploy the tent! Here we go. This is a message from Lord Nurgle. I await you on the Dread Isle. This is a message from Lord Nurgle. I await you on the Dread Isle. This is a message. Well, he's odd, isn't he? Tell all the soldiers, take your post and don't move. Hold your positions. All we could do is hold out until reinforcements arrive. Elliewood. What? Don't ever exert yourself. I'm fine. I'm not all that weak. Well... Hey, Nils! Ninian! 
You, you're one of Lord Hector's guests, aren't you? You shouldn't be out here, it's too dangerous. Go and hide in that room, do you understand? Oh! Damn it. Damn that guy. Okay, so let's put people over here to protect these guards. We don't really need to move Malinus. Hector, we can and will move, though, because Hector's a good unit. Ellie, would you go here? Jafar, start making your move. Florina. We can javelin these guys if we want to. But I believe in good old Iron Lance. Yes. Lowen. Axe him. Yes. It's always good for Lowen to get a few levels up, right? Level 4 for Lowen now. Basically what I'm doing here is I'm trying to find, I'm trying to make a wall so Matthew can then go. Hang on, what's over here? I've got a boa here as well. Alright, Matthew go here where they can't hit you. Sir, it's nice to see you back here, sort of. And lastly, our best, our better units. You won't be able to live these guys, never. Canis, you're up first. Follow by Kent. Kent's just going straight for the kill, you don't give a damn. And neither do I. Right, Priscilla. I want to go straight for the boss, actually. I want to kill him first. But no. And Oswin, my monstrous knight. Right, we need to protect, we need to protect the throne for 11 turns. Whoa! A uh, bit of damage done there by that swordmaster. Luckily, though, he's gone now. Lowen's taking some shots. Dart. Now there's Kent. We're going to be taking some shots here, obviously. But not many of them, hopefully. Hopefully not many. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, of course, Kent's resistance is quite low, isn't it? His defense is high, but he's... His resistance is low. So I will endeavor to try and get rid of the uh, attacking units first. Poison. So many poisonous items. Damn it. Well, the Ossian guards are gonna. They're gonna. They're, some of them will fall, obviously. You really wanna do that? I doubt it. Right, we need to take out the... Oh, I didn't see that treasure chest down there. Oh, God! Lin, I recommend that you run. I recommend that you leg it. These guys should be fine. Ah, I can hit you and kill you. You are going to go to... Sleep! He's actually gone to sleep. Oh, God, the Ostian guards are so... there. You're gonna get damaged. You're gonna get damaged. Right. No, don't run away! Good God! I've always said hold your ground! Listen to Hector! Jeez! Good God. Now it's time for our poison counts. One. Luckily it's only one. Right, let's go. Sura, you're up first. Nice to see you back here. Nice kill. Very nice from Sarah. Urk. You are a dark magic. Okay. Let's go and help him out then, shall we? First up, Raven. Iron sword time. Boom. Nice bit of experience there for Raven. Can't expect everything, you know. Right. Florina. You go over here and just take out the ordinary boa. Because Lowen is going to take out the Sniper. Lowen, take out the Sniper. He's gone. And we're nearly a level up for Lowen. Very close. Run away, Lin. You're in trouble if you stay there. Right, Rebecca. Take him out. Take him down to a knee. Level up for Rebecca. Level 16. Very nice. It's time to get our revenge. Revenge! Nice level up for Bartra there. He's now level 19? Yes. Strength up. He's now maxed out in strength as well as HP. Very nice. 
Dart's gonna knock him straight out. And... Let's Iron Sword this guy. You're gone. You are not getting to the throne, my friends. You're not getting through to the throne. Right, now down here, as you can see, there are a lot of units. A lot of them. What we need to do is we need to take out the ones with resistant. The ones, that, the ones, the magic ones, really, pretty much. Once we take out the magic ones, everything should be A-OK. -okay. Probably the sniper as well. There's one more magic guy, and that's you. Go for it. Boom! You're dead. Now I take out one of the snipers. With Priscilla! Yes! Nice. Priscilla's now level 20. Brilliant. We are on our way now. Another... Oh, a defense. That's really going to help. I do hope Priscilla doesn't die. That would... That would be terrible. Right, Matthew, make your way to here. Go. What do we got? What do you got? Oh, God! This is a message from Lord Nurgle. I await you on the Dread Isle. Yeah, okay, we get it. We get it. You will be awaiting him. We will be, you will be awaiting us on the Dread Isle. We get it. Now shut up. Go on, keep going for Kent. Don't go for Priscilla or Canis. Go for those. Go for any. Yeah, keep going for Kent. Go on. Looks like it's gonna be up to Oswin to take out uh, Denning. Oh, he's, he's gonna. They're gonna corner Oswin, aren't they? Yeah, we can't get the Denning this turn. That sort of sucks. It's a bit of a shame. That ah, more poison. Right. You right, you're you're gonna get damaged. You're running away. You're gonna hit him. Well then. You're hitting him. He just killed you because you suck. Ah, nice. Oh god, a thief. Also gonna take some more damage. So is Kent. Luckily they both have really high HP, so they should be fine. Alright, let's go. First, Rebecca. Take him out. We're coming to save you guys! Because you guys are in a bit of trouble here, so we're going to come save you. Lowen, you're up first. Take out this boa. Nice one. Level up for Lowen. Do -do -do -do. Level five. Nice. Raven, if you go that way and take out that Shaman, I'm going to send Hector down this way to join in with the fight. We need to spread the fun around, right? You're dead. Right. Got to get rid of the snipers first. Kent. Probably Kent. Yeah, Kent. Kent will take you out. Take you out to the woodshed and shoot you in the head. Level up for Kent. Level 17. Very nice. Next up, you. You're dead. Priscilla, how much damage can you do to Denning? Not a lot at all. Pretty much bugger all there. Would it be wise? No, I don't think it would. So let's just Iron Axe him. There you go. Right. Go on the pillar, you'll get some defense. Or you'll get some uh, bet, some up, so keep going for that. What are you going to go for? You're going to go for him. Denning, why are you going to go for an Austin? There's no point. Oswin is there. We're all here waiting for you to get your ass kicked. God damn it. Go on, go for that Austin. I don't care. Stop going for Oswin. <laughs> Seriously, it's not good for your health. Not good for mine either. Ah. I'm happy that thief's gone that way. Because then he can't go for these chests over here. Very nice. Ah, another thief. Not letting you get away either. I didn't let the first one get away. So I'm not going to let you get away either. Damn you. Okay. Guy. No. The only people who can hit Lowen can hit him. Florina can hit him. Oh, that'll do a lot of damage. Kent can hit him. But he's not quick enough. Alright. Let's take Denning down. 
No, I'll, no, I'll take him down next turn. Next turn, Denning's going down. But I'm gonna make sure he can't escape with Kent. Go for a shot. Nice. Right. Canus, make sure that no one gets in the way. You're next. And I'm going to take out that thief, because the other one's gone the other way, so there's no point in me going after him. You're dead. Alright, who else have we got? We've got you guys up there. We have Raven over here, who's going to do some killing like he likes to do. He's good at it. He's very good at it. Matthew, come over here. Alright, everyone else. Guy, you especially. Come over here. Make sure you're well away from that wall, because he has a longbow. So make sure you're well away from the wall. This is serious, guys. This guy is no slouch. Rebecca, you too. Come down. Actually, hang on. No. No, no. Rebecca, go that way. <coughs> oh, sneezy. Sneezy. Also, why are you going for him? You are stupid beyond belief, Denning. Suck, you suck. You are nearly dead. You're running away. Ah, more stuff. Well, in the next episode, we will be killing more people and getting all the items as well. But till then, I will see you next time.